Hurricane Barrel, the storm hitting the Caribbean right now and being called extremely rare. Ginger, of course, tracking it all and what it could possibly mean for the U.S. Good morning. Hey, good morning. Not just extremely rare, unprecedented. We saw Barrel over the weekend become the first Category 4 hurricane this early in the season ever. We've never had one in June at Cat 4 status in the Atlantic Basin, but we did. Now it's a Cat 3. It's whipping Barbados to Trinidad and Tobago with its outer bands. The center of it will go right south of St. Vincent and the Grenadines. That's why they're in hurricane warning. Tropical storm watch already on the south coast of Dominican Republic and Haiti. Jamaica by midweek could see some impacts here. We'll watch that closely. And eventually it makes it to the Yucatan Peninsula by Friday, back into the Bay of Campeche by the time we get into next week. And that high pressure system, the steering winds, is what we're hoping to keep us safe along the coastal Gulf Coast. So we'll keep an eye on it as we get there because we've got a whole week. New Bedford, Massachusetts, though, just showing you some of the nearly 200 severe storm reports. You had all of that damaging wind today. Charleston, Savannah, Georgia could see two to four inches of rain, upwards of six. So very big start to the week. That high that's keeping barrel south, it's also making New Orleans feel like it's almost 118 degrees. Yeah, so my family's I'll get into there. the heat. Yeah, my family's there. They were, <laughs> yeah. they were telling me about Melting. that. Melting. Yes, that's right. All right, Ginger.